Today, I want to share the most underrated brand building practice there is. If you're the contractor, I will teach you how to build a brand and how to build it on a budget. And it always amazes me how many contractors don't do it. What I'm about to show you, maybe, maybe at the highest, 10% of contractors are doing. And I promise you, it's always the biggest brands and market leaders in their towns. What I'm talking about is a very simple photo session, but you have to be very intentional about it. What I want you to do, if you've never done it before, if you've never hired a photographer for your business, I want you to do the following. I want you to go on Fiverr, on the Craigslist, Facebook, on um, ask for recommendations, hire a photographer for a day. It could be a wedding photographer. There's plenty of freelancers out there. It's not hard to find a good one. It'll cost you a couple hundred bucks and you're going to ask that photographer to follow you for a day. But on the back end, I want you to prepare for it. Here's a few things that you have to do. You have to schedule a couple jobs. Make sure they're good jobs. Something that has very unique product. Maybe if you're a roofer, it could be metal jobs or Da Vinci jobs, right? Hire the best crew for the job. Make sure you invest in apparel company t-shirts, company hats. Day before it, give your entire team, if it's office people, company polos for the office. If it's field workers, make sure they wear a uniform or look like they wear a uniform. One of the hacks that I've done over the years to save on t-shirts because if like a roofing crew is five, seven people and they need a t-shirt every day. So you need 25, 30 shirts just for one week. And what I've done, I gave them safety vest, something you can put over shirts. Looks professional, very good on the picture or a camera. And then what I want you to do is I want you to schedule something fun for lunch at your office. It could be lunch, barbecue, you can take your team out. When that photographer comes, I want him to take pictures the entire day. Start in the morning all the way to the end. I want to track pictures. I want to office pictures. I'll tell you in a second why you need it. Pretty much that photographer does everything, documents your life, your company's life for a day. Person who answers your phone calls, salespeople, group pictures, people eating, smiling, enjoying each other. And then I want you to travel to the job site. I want a pictures working, driving handles. If you're a fence company, installing fence, show me the sweat, show me the hard work. It's actually a great team building exercise to build company culture for people to get to know each other. Maybe you buy food, like get like food truck if you have a bigger company or maybe grill for your team. Another great exercise. Now, what are you going to do with it is the following. First of all, you're finally going to call your website guru guy, whoever gal does your website and you're going to say, hey, man, I have some good pictures because 90 percent of marketers complain about their clients not having good images and they have to use stock images. So now you put something on your website, your team, your you have quite a few pages there, right? So about us, going to have one picture, your company story, front page, uh, roofing, siding, gutters, whatever your pages are, you can now have and will have pictures for everything on your website. If you have 100 to 150 pictures, it's literally six month backlog for your social media. Every once in a while, you're gonna drop those pictures and say something about your team. Introduce yourself to the world. The psychology is very simple. People want to know who does the work and who is behind the brand. Every city I go to, I look for local CrossFit gyms. And guess what? I always look at the websites. I will always look at pictures. I look what kind of equipment they have, what kind of coaches they have. Is it a big gym? Is it a small gym? Is it competitive? They're about to spend a lot of money on you. If they're shopping for your service, they want to know who is behind it. You're probably doing the same thing. Before you hire a person, you're probably going to check their Facebook just to see what kind of persona they have. Well, your potential client most likely will do the same thing. And to have very good Google listing will convert it to more calls. You might be getting 100 eyes on your Google My Business page and someone next to you. But if you only have stock images and it's not even clear who's doing the work, but uh, the, the guy next to you on, on Google next to you, your neighbor, have very good pictures, they might get lent more calls just because of that. What's the reason not to do it? 
You have to have a pictures and you have to have great assets for all your online listings, your Thumbtack, your Yelp, your Facebook, your Instagram. You will use this set of pictures everywhere. What I want you to do out of that 100 to 150 pictures, come up with a 10, 15 branded pictures. Like on Google, for example, Google will ask you, show me the interior of your business. Show me the exterior of your business. Have you been at a massage place and you wanted to see what kind of tables they have, what kind of environment? We all do it. We check the facility before we go in. No difference with people who, who is about to buy a car or buy a roof or buy a fence. They want to know who you are and Google is asking you. Let me give you a little tip. When Google is asking you for something, you want to give them that. Show yourself off. I want you to think about yourself as McDonald's. When you see McDonald's burger on a billboard, does it look like real life burger? No, they created photo session to make you hungry. When you're looking for a professional and you see the team, everybody's smiling, everybody's nice, you see people working, you know, it builds trust. Pictures do build trust. Seeing is believing. For ideas, what I want you to do is go to Google and type in storm group proofing. We've done it last time, I want to say 2018. It has been five years. The new owners, it's, it's my business, I saw the new owners don't need to make it because there's so many pictures of people doing the work. We still have the same crews. There's still some people who I've hired five years ago, but you can get the idea who is behind the brand. They tell you the story about the brand. So you don't have to do it often. Do it once in two, three years just to update, to show the uh, refresh it, if you will, refresh your brand. But people will see what vehicles you drive, what your office look like, what your job site look like. You owe it to your customer. Now, when you go and create listing on another online platform, it could be Facebook, it could be Yelp, it could be Thumbtack, it could be, you know, house.com. You're going to use those pictures everywhere you go. I just don't understand what's your excuse not to do it. So many people say, well, I know my website is outdated. I know I need to make new picture. I know I know I have to update it. Why didn't you yet? Do you care about your brand? Do you care about how you look? Do you care about your position? Do you want to grow? So many contractors are complaining about not having leads not having their phone ring and they've never done the bare minimum work to get there do you want your phone ring start with a photo session the most underrated practice trick whatever you call it there is comment below what you think if this video brought any value to you give it a like subscribe if you want to learn from me i teach this type of content in my program i'm going to put it in a link below see you in the next video